Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to connect with me today for coffee and the Word. That time each day that we examine a small portion of God's Word, and then we try to apply it to our lives so we can become a little lot more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab that cup, and let's get started. We're going to continue on thinking about temptation uh, in Proverbs. Today, Proverbs chapter 7, 19 through 23, a continuation of yesterday. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a step stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver, his like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Too easy, too hard. Sometimes there's another stage to temptation. It's a reassurance that there will be no real consequences. My husband is not at home, and he will not be home till the full moon. Temptation is extremely powerful if you believe that no one will ever know. But in reality, there will always be a heavy cost for transgressing the givenness of God's spiritual and moral order. In the case of adultery, it could mean inward and outward shame or the financial and physical danger that comes from a wronged husband's wrath. And God will always know. The 17th century writer Thomas Brooks, in his book, Precious Remedies Against Satan's Devices, argued that Satan tempts you by assuring you that you can always repent later. But he who now tempts you to sin upon the account that repentance is easy will, ere long, bring you to despair and forever destroy your soul. Represent repentance as the most difficult and hardest work in the world. Have you ever experienced this satanic device? When and how? Lord, I know this demonic lie, that I can sin now and ask for forgiveness later, but when I've gone that route I've discovered that my heart becomes too hard and too despondent to repent. Thank you for today's reminder of this device of Satan, and call it to mind the next time he uses on me. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.